2023 Toyota Sequoia starting at $59,960, the Toyota Sequoia has always been a full-size, three-row SUV based on the platform of the Tundra pickup truck that doesn't change with the new generation arriving for the 2023 model year, the rest does, the new model is far more modern than the outdated second-generation Sequoia it replaces, which has been around for more than a decade, the new Sequoia comes standard with the Tundra's iForce Max hybrid powertrain, which combines a 3.4-liter V6 engine with an electric motor for a total of 437 horsepower, inside, it offers a large touchscreen with the latest software, along with three-row cabin with seating for up to eight passengers, while the modernization gives the Sequoia a better chance to compete with rivals such as the Chevy Tahoe and Ford Expedition. The Toyota's interior space and cargo area hamper its practicality, What's new for 2023, the Sequoia has been redesigned for 2023 and rides on the same underpinnings as the new Tundra, Land Cruiser, and the Lexus LX600, it's available only as a hybrid and features a new look inside and out. The limited trim appears to offer the best value in the lineup, although it's only one step up from the base SR5, it comes with a ton of additional goodies as standard, those items include a larger 14.0-inch touchscreen, a power liftgate, 20-inch wheels, heated and cooled front seats, and a power-folding third-row engine, transmission, and performance, the Sequoia comes standard with the iForce Max hybrid powertrain that's optional in the Tundra pickup, this powertrain is comprised. of a twin-turbo 3.4-liter V6 engine and an electric motor that produce a total of 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque, the Tundra's 10-speed automatic transmission carries over to the Sequoia SUV as well, rear-wheel drive is standard, with four-wheel drive optional on most versions and standard on the off-road-oriented TRD Pro model. The four-wheel drive Sequoia capstone we tested accelerated to 60 miles per hour in 5.6 seconds and reached a quarter mile in 14.3 seconds at 94 miles per hour, that's quicker than the last GMC Yukon Denali we tested, but somewhat slower than the Ford Expedition Timberline, the TRD Pro also comes with off-road equipment such as upgraded Fox dampers, a front skid plate, a locking rear differential, and forged 18-inch wheels with 33-inch tires. During our initial test drive, we were pleased with the Sequoia's comfortable ride in quiet cabin, but less so with its on-road driving behavior, its extra-wide feeling on the road makes it hard to place in a lane. Something we've complained about in other large SUVs too, and its featherweight steering effort can make it feel twitchy when cruising, when we get a chance, we'll put the Sequoia through its paces at our test track and update this story with test results. Fuel economy and real-world MPG, the new Sequoia's hybrid setup makes it significantly more efficient than the outgoing model, rear-wheel drive models are EPA rated at 21 miles per gallon city, 24 miles per gallon highway, and 22 miles per gallon combined. Opting for four-wheel drive drops those numbers a bit, to 19 miles per gallon city, 22 miles per gallon highway, and 20 miles per gallon combined. When we get our hands on the Sequoia we'll run it on our real-world 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy test, interior, comfort, and cargo, the Sequoia's large. Interior continues in this new generation, with a third row of seats as standard equipment, a second row bench setup with eight passenger capacity is standard, with optional second row captain's chairs reducing the number of seats to seven, headroom is limited in both of the rear rows, particularly when equipped with the optional panoramic sunroof, with a wide range of trim levels available, the interior trimmings run the gamut from cloth to leather upholstery and varying levels of wood and chrome trim as you walk up the price ladder, higher trim levels offer features including heated and cooled second-row seats, a panoramic sunroof, and a premium stereo system, the Sequoia's cargo area isn't as accommodating as other rivals, with the rear seat in use there's only 12 cubic feet of cargo space and folding the third row down doesn't result in a flat load floor.